It's a story that has crushed a small town of Rochester in Fulton County. Four kids hit, three of them dead. And tonight, the family of these three beautiful children pleading for change and asking for prayers. I just don't know how we are going to be able to go on not knowing and knowing they're not coming home. Raw emotions this morning from the family of nine-year-old Olivia and six-year-old twins Xavier and Mason. Like I just keep thinking in my head that maybe, just maybe it wasn't them, you know? The three siblings were crossing State Road 25 in Rochester on Tuesday morning. They were just feet away from their school bus when they were struck. I knew it. I knew I heard the school bus. Police say the stop arm on the bus was out and the lights were on. They knew when the bus stopped and the arm came out, that's when they crossed. They did everything they were supposed to do. And some woman comes through 70 miles an hour. Just, wow, my, my niece said when she's seen it, she couldn't even imagine what was happening. Her niece, the mother of all three children. She was standing on the front porch when the kids were struck. She witnessed it all. You seen that truck, it looked like she hit another giant truck and that was, that was our babies. Police say 24-year-old Alyssa Shepard was the driver behind the wheel of that truck. Shepard's bond was set at $15,000. She bonded out of jail yesterday. <laughs> to, to know that my babies are dead and this woman is bailed out of jail. I, there's just no words. There's no words. Meanwhile, the family says the community has had concerns about that exact same school bus route in the past. This bus route needs to change where these children do not have to cross the highway. Yeah. You can hear the family's entire interview on wishtv.com right now. And late this afternoon, the superintendent of the Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation issuing a statement saying starting November 1st, the bus stop will be moved. The superintendent also plans a safety review of all bus stops in the school district. He'll be joined in that review by local sheriffs. A friend of the family has set up a GoFundMe page to help the family that lost the three children. So far, it's raised almost $66,000 in just one day. The goal, $100,000. GoFundMe page also has been created to help the child who was hurt in the crash and taken to a Fort Wayne hospital. That page uh, says Maverick will need multiple surgeries and may never walk again. So far, it's raised $24,000.